You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother gave. That's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years. Welcome to Haven. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now. Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. I'll introduce you properly later. I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. He mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. Just give me a sec. Yeah! Something's wrong. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right uh, now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, Mac. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! Does your brother know about your... issues? He doesn't know. I'll just be... a normal girl. Town. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. <gasps> Everyone knows. Oh, looks pretty nasty Everyone right about knows. here. <laughs> oh, someone in the chat said the clothing options oh, change every day. Brief. That's pretty cool. Alex, I'll change you made every it. day. Yeah. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, <gasps> you're taking oh. Gabe to the station. We need Gabe a first aid kit that doesn't flag. predate the discovery of bacteria. He said that he did it's it. It's fine, I don't need to go. Now Ryan knows what he's doing, now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Now there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Oh, that's Charlotte, his girlfriend. I'm just registering that now. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Oh, shit. she's trying to read us right now. Okay, well, it's nice that our brother took the blame for that fight instead of like telling everyone that I did it because that would have been a really bad first impression. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say falling because that makes me look a little sus. So maybe I'll just say, I don't know. I'll just say, I don't know. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. She thinks I'm talking about because uh, my brother beat that guy up. Little as she know, it was Ethan actually gave you an me. issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Oh, really? I'm gonna say he's a great kid. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. <laughs> By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef okay, he special. will be mad Watch at the me. Gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. The plaid pants, okay, I kinda hate them. <laughs> but I like the top half of her outfit. Her smile is like really huge. PBJ sandwich, I was about to say, why is she smiling so damn hard? She seems a little sus. She's smiling so hard. 
So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple oh. years experience as a server? Not him trying uh. to get me to work right now. Go with Gabe's story or come clean. I think we should go with Gabe's story because he is covering for us right now, so. Maybe we, not as long as that. We owe him. Yeah. We really owe him. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. All right. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Time to pretend I know what I'm Guess doing. I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Server mini game. Check on. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen. Here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister. Not them. the third. Ducky. Not them having my last friends, name spelled differently. Former early. entrepreneur, now <laughs> retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. <laughs> nice to meet you. I didn't realize that. Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. I'm Game sorry, this is, is so weird. In the second one, they had Jen spelled with two N's, Finn spelled with two N's. And now McAllister. You're from Portland, right? In this one. I moved here from DC six months ago. So. How are you finding the small town thing? Kind of bizarre, kind of perfect. Let's be positive. I've, I feel like I've been pretty positive in this episode, so let's say kind of perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people. And now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Okay, pie special with fries and a cheeseburger thing with mushrooms. Hey, yeah. And his special. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Fuck, I knew they were gonna I knew they were gonna quiz me on what it was. Burger with mushrooms. Did he say cheeseburger or burger, you guys? Uh, he said cheeseburger? Okay, cheeseburger with mushrooms, okay. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? I'm gonna fuck this up. Pie special with fries, am I right, you guys? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Okay, we fucking Ducky asked for his usual? That. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, sus. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Okay. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh, okay, interesting. So we have to look around, or should we just go upstairs? <laughs> Someone in the chat said, damn, you have to use your brain while playing this? I would have literally forgotten. I mean, I pretty much did. I I just said burger, and then when there was an option for burger or cheeseburger, I was, I was like, wow. Um, I'm just gonna go upstairs. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Okay, let's look. I mean, my first guess of where it would be would be 
the kitchen. So let's just go over here. Oh, is this it? No, that's just a bottle. Um, liquor. Let's look. I would have no idea what to look for. Nope. Nothing. Okay, maybe in the... Oh, let's check in the cabinet. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Mm, let's check in the... Oh, magnet. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Okay, I thought maybe we'd check in the freezer. Look at this sticker. It says, don't blame the weed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, maybe over here. Look at all this alcohol over here. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Okay. We can look in the couch? That's kind of odd, but let's do it. Ha! Oh, no way was it in there. That's kind of... That's kind of weird. Um... Okay. Found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? <gasps> She's gonna read really? him like that? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. Really sus, you guys. Really sussy. My pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. That was really sus. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Damn, did I just take back take a shot like that? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, the li the little like moans. Okay. Can we read Jed? Oh, he's angry. Let's read him for Phil. Right Damn now. boys. Always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Can we read anyone else? Can we read them. Ducky and Diane. Oh, here's a different color emotion. Maven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. So true. Okay, let's see what do we have to do next. Check on Steph and clear the table in the back. Okay, so let's check on Steph. Oh, good. Oh, there she is. Ooh, let's read this guy. New miner. Oh, he's purple. How they operate. Starting over from scratch like this? Yeah, this was fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Take some minutes on the ropes. Okay, though. is purple like nervous or scared? Yeah, Blue is like sad. Things. And red is so angry, obviously. Black. Can we read Steph? No. Um, alright, let's check on her. It's getting better. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Mm, is someone sitting there? Um, okay, this is tough, because honestly I would be down to chat, but we are working. Um, so I don't know if we should sit down and chat. Like, I feel like we would dead ass get in trouble. We did just take a shot, though. Um, should we ask her who she's sitting with? I'm actually, like, curious. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. Mm. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero Sus. again. Ryan's okay. always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Oh, sorry, Jed. 
our boss is on our ass right now. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. I will be looking. I will be looking. Let's ask um, what she's working on. Is that record store inventory? No. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> So I didn't know what a LARP was until I asked you guys earlier. Li wait, live action role playing. Um, I'm gonna make her tell me, I'm gonna make her tell me. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells, it's great. Gabe LARP. was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're Lark. coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. Miley's milkers. What a fucking nerd. Would Let's you leave. ever want to join us sometime? <laughs> um, honestly, you guys, like, LARPing sounds like something I would never do personally. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's cool if you, no offense to my LARPing viewers out there, like, I love my, I love all my LARPers, but girl, I can't, no. Um, it sounds cool, but imagine I'm sure Alex Chen LARPing. She's so awkward. <laughs> Playing with the right people helps, though. Okay, this is the last thing we can ask if. That's her shot, and then we have to go back to work, so let's ask her. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's oh, ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying thing? to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions, where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You wanna take his place? Y'all, not me getting so lit on my shift. Let's take another shot on my shift. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna so, get fired. <laughs> I'll pick a song. You have five yes I'm literally no getting questions fired on you day have one. to guess it. Okay. Okay, I barely remember what she said already. So we have to guess something. We have to guess what song she's playing. standing like that got one jukebox is all yours so what do you want to ask me hmm i should flip through these and see what might be good to ask y'all what are we doing right now are we even gonna be able to hear the music <laughs> this is gonna be so bad vic nasty blame the monkey brain Check, raise, mine the damn floor. How many fucking, oh my, y'all, what the hell have we gotten ourselves into? What, there's literally 20, 20. Oh. Okay, let's ask about the cover art, I guess. Let's say, uh, let's ask if it has an animal on the cover. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no, no animals. Okay. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? There are actually a lot with animals on it, so maybe that helps. Let's see. Let's see if there's people on the cover. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. no. Why'd she say it like that? No. Okay, let's see what else we can ask. Does it have the band name? Is the band name on the cover? Yep. You've okay. got two questions left. Oh, sh I only have so many questions. Y'all, I really f this up. Okay, let's see. So this is song missing, so maybe it's not that. So the band name's on the cover, but there's no people and there's no animals. Is this, does this count as a person or an animal? Like, actually, I really don't know. Um, Cause it looks like a skull of like an animal, so. That's it because she hesitated. That's kind of tea. Okay, well, let's see. It could maybe be that one. 
It could be this one. It's either this or the one with the skull. Vic Nasty. Band name questions. Oh, we could ask if it has a symbol. Does this one have a symbol? Oh, they both have symbols. And both of them are two words as well. So neither of these questions work. Let's go back. Song title questions. Blame the monkey brain or kiss up and shut kiss up and shut me like none of these questions are gonna help me any punctuation okay ask if it's a person's name that's a good idea actually because the other one i don't think is a person's name and this one i think is does the band name have a person's name in it nope oh okay okay i'm making my final guess last question I don't yeah. need it. All right, I know. I don't need it. It's this one. Personal questions. Song title questions. Four words or more. Does the song have a long title? Like four words or more? Yes. Okay, this is it. Interesting. How do I guess? That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. The Fidelic. Through one last time. The band name doesn't have a person. I know name it. In it. Did I win? <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. Let's <gasps> go. Let's go. Guess I'm drinking. Take your shot. <laughs> we can actually hear it as well. So everything worked out. Come on, take your shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. That looks radioactive. <laughs> it does. I'm really glad we did. Me too. Okay. I should get back to work. Now we have to work. Okay. Again. All right, so now next we have to. Um, I think I see a lot more of the jukebox game in my future. We have to clear the table in the back. Do we have any text? No. Okay. Trails later this week. Shit. Now Max scared. Oh my god, I was not expecting him to see him here. He's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Oh, okay, so she only loses control when someone's freaking out. Okay. Where's the table that I have to... Is it this one? Oh, is, is it this one with the bottles on it? Clean up. He should be scared of us. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? What do you want? Listen, oh, I didn't know she was gonna say it like that. What happened upstairs <laughs> was fucked up, right? From both of us. Okay. I'm gonna say, what's your plan? Where are you going with this? Yo, why is she saying it so mean? Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not gonna say you're awful. I, I wasn't expecting those last two to be so mean. Like, the way I was reading them was like, you guys heard, it was like kind of like ca casual. I'm just gonna say this one, I guess. So you're saying you want me to lie Damn, to still... cover your ass? No, <laughs> no, just like let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please help me out. is wrong with you oh my god oh my look god. at your face no, it's okay don't even what were you thinking where's gabe why do you give a shit 
because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. <sighs> I swear, this is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. No, it's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? Uh-oh. Uh... The bastard sucker punched me. Not him. Okay. Um, Looking behind his shoulder at not me. Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Oh, um... Oh... Call out Max bullshit or avoid further trouble. Okay, to be honest, my first instinct is to just avoid further trouble because I really didn't even want to talk to him in the first place. Like, I just came over to the table to clean up the bottles and do my job. I really didn't want this. Um, and I don't want people to find out that I was the one who, who beat the shit out of this guy. You know what I mean? Everyone in the chat is saying, call out Max bullshit, but do you think I'm gonna get exposed for being the one who actually did it? Because I just moved here. You know what I'm saying? I, I think I'd rather avoid it. You were just protecting your brother. I mean, yeah, but we didn't have to, we could have just pushed him away. We didn't have to punch him in the face five times. <laughs> like that was like definitely a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I would avoid further trouble. Like if I didn't have the chat with you guys, like with you guys talking in it, I wouldn't see you all saying call out max bullshit and I would just avoid further trouble because for me I'm like I just moved into this town and I let my insane anger issues get the best of me and Gabe's already covering up for me and this guy seems to be covering up for me too I'm afraid if I call him out he's gonna be like she's the one who beat the shit out of me and then people are gonna be like whoa this new girl is insane um, so that's why I think I'm gonna avoid further trouble personally. Um, I just think, I just don't even want to be a part of this. It's not my relationship. It's not my issue. So that's why I'm gonna make this decision. Um. Yeah, I was there. But, um, I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so That's childish. why I made that choice. You know, Sorry if you don't agree with me, but it's, I do want to make my own choices in the playthrough. I just don't want to. I don't want to. Alex get Chen? Uh. So. Oh, my, me when I just said I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Jason Pike. No! Deputy Sheriff, I'm going to have to take you and your brother in for questions. No! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I, okay, what about Mac? Assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. Oh. You should see your face. Oh, oh okay. What kind of prank is this? I'm oh, sorry. I'm only but... kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> I kind of hated that. Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Me not laughing. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> I actually scared the shit out of me. I was like, <laughs> I, you guys know I want to avoid trouble. Okay. See, I'm down to throw, I'm down to throw Mac under the bus to the police officers, but I just don't want to be involved otherwise. Okay. Um, 
let's see. What do we have to do now? Because we did all of our other tasks. Let Jed know the tasks are done. Okay. There you have Good it. to know. Hey, Jed. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yes. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. Oh, he's right. They really How you should feeling? be back soon because they're Not here great. right now. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. Ooh. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. All right. Ooh, I'm getting texts left and right. Is this what's all the way upstairs in our place? This is beautiful. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see. Should we say silent treatment or how's your jaw? Um, I'm gonna ask about his jaw. How's your jaw? Yes. I should have said silent treatment. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Oh. Oh, sh Let's get lit. <laughs> Let's get lit. How old am I? Oh, she's 21. Okay, cool. Hidden cooler. Did you... I'm not gonna say, did you rehearse that move? That feels like something you would say when you're, like, flirting with someone. Oh. Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Uh oh, Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person that I can kick your ass. Hmm, I feel like we should... Maybe we should say that I'm a crazy person. Not, like, to be like that, but... Because maybe it'll lead into a conversation about what's going on with me. And I feel like that I can kick your ass is kind of like avoiding that. And I feel like we should be... We should be honest with him, you know? That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. Oh, awkward. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. I don't want to keep deflecting. Like there's this option down here that's like, didn't you go to juvie? <laughs> um, 
I'd rather be like more straightforward, I think. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just say this. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? <gasps> tell him about your past or tell him about your power. I think we need to tell him about our power because that's kind of what I was trying to go for with my choices in our conversation. I was hoping that it would open up a conversation about it. I just feel like we should tell him like, I don't know, we're family, right? And it would explain why I got so violent. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'd rather him know that that was coming from like this weird thing I have going on, like my power, other than just like my past. So I think I'm gonna do this one. There's something off about me. <laughs> I know Me. what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. Oh my God, I wonder what he's gonna say. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? Um. Dude, when? Why does she always have a really sassy option? Okay, I think we just said that we feel it because it's a part of our power. No. No one told me that. I just feel it. You sure it's not just, you know... It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? <laughs> oh my God. Giving me Chloe vibes. Um, I guess it doesn't work like that. I guess that's what we have to say. You need more beer, I feel like it's like a joke, so. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Are you f***ing with me or more like super curse? I guess, okay, at first I thought this was really cool, but I guess it kind of is a curse because you really can't control other people's emotions. So I'm going to say this. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just, I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is <laughs> emotional intelligence. on another level. 
You can get in there. I mean, that's... That's really special. I don't want to say I'm broken. That's, like, so emo. I'm just gonna say special, question mark? Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? Brocken. <laughs> I'm doesn't Brocken. Matter what's going on. <laughs> I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Oh, okay. I'm glad we opened up to him. This is a nice conversation. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. I'm rusty. She could easily be rusty. We have no idea because we did not hear a single thing that came out of her playing. Um, I'm just going to say I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. <gasps> oh, hey, dude. What's up? Oh, hey. It's Ryan. Is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think. Oh, no. Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? Oh, no. I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Because there's about to be an explosion, you guys. Oh, uh, no. No, not this. No, not this. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Oh. Oh, we're kind of matching with our plaid. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should have told Ethan about the explosion. I know, there's no option for that, though. I'll say how worried should we be. Should I be... I don't know. Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, oh. good. Well, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid, can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey, we're gonna find him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. So true. Of course. Good thing we picked that option, you guys. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that? How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Let's check our Landed homes. a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Oh, I I'm permanently working there? Excited to announce we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. Happy to have you, Alex. I thought it was just a one-time thing, Jed. What the... F Whatever.
Uh oh, two hour warning, but it's okay because they already um, canceled it. Ducky texted me. How are these people getting my phone number? Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. Very sweet. Okay. All right, so we need to look around. I mean, nope, 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 nope. Super nope. Yeah, we don't have any of these things, so. Open gate. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your oh, What is this thing? I didn't even see this. Julie McNamara is a f***ing skank. <laughs> a f***ing skank. I know this. Hey, we're gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Yeah, at 9 p.m. That's not even that late. Zombie? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Trying to look around. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Machine on you, know, okay. Can we read them? Oh, they're both feeling scared. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. What is this thing? Wow. We raise our safe, drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location on December 30th, 2008, pulled us out of hell. Oh my god, Jed really is a town hero. Okay. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. Investigate. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Oh, look. Same logo. Did <gasps> Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay, we're definitely going to be able to get info on how he's getting in from this comic. That's my, that's my okay. guess. Okay. Okay. I'll have to find another if way the wall in. is an illusion. <laughs> okay, blood. Okay, there's a campfire. Look, it's literally the zombie in the chair. Oh, there's a door. Okay, so if this is, like, by the campfire and there's, like, blood going to this gate or whatever, it's, like, opening a door next to the gate? I can find the secret entrance. Okay, well, y'all, I think we figured it out. Okay. Nothing obvious. We literally got, like, a handbook to... Maybe we should... To how we got in. Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Wow, yeah. we really are a genius. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Yep, I already did. And he probably went on over here at this door. Maybe not. All right, I got a little too confident. Um, let's compare. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Never mind. Okay, well, we definitely know that this zombie was entrance. in it, so let's see. Oh, he went through this door. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I guess we have to really compare things. So let's compare the zombie. So if the zombie is here, then... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. Wait, let me look at this again. Riding around in any mine carts. Kind Are they of talking a missed about opportunity. this gate or they're talking about the gate behind us? Helmet. Oh, can we put this on? Oh, wait, what's this? I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God, we're alive. Is that everybody? I need a head count. Whoa. Okay, so she can, like, get memories from objects sometimes. Okay, I swear it's this gate. Do we compare this gate with the comet? Can we do that? No, I'm so confused. I thought I figured it out. Is it this gate? Oh, it's this gate. Okay. Wait, so... Did Ethan? Oh, man. Okay, so we have to pull this gate back then, and there's an entrance behind it? That's what I'm thinking. I think there's, like, a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. <sighs> oh, my God. Big brain. Big brain, 5,000 IQ level. Wow. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Okay, so we have to compare the comic again to what's going on. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Okay. So there's like this platform. Perhaps I can reach higher ground. Okay, so he goes upstairs. Got it. <gasps> Y'all see what I see over here? <laughs> have I got some good news for you. Legalize it. Is it grass? Okay, anyway, um, here's a staircase, so maybe we can compare these stairs. During conversation, what? use space to swap between trees. Uh, space. Don't put this on me. I am not making that choice for you. Have you seen any action movie? This is definitely the staircase, y'all. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. All right, let's get this out of the way. Okay, let's go up. What's next? Oh, he goes up all the stairs, okay. Caution when ascending to top level, okay. I mean, he just walks right up. Oh, compare? Not in the comic. Okay, good, because I don't know how we're gonna get over there. Is this in the comic? Oh, is it broken? The silo. We're getting close. Oh, she's just looking out the window. Okay. This is definitely in the comic. I remember that.
This is actually such a good concept for figuring this out, to be honest. Like, of course, a kid would use things in his real life to, like, come up with stuff. No way he did this. Y'all see that? What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Yeah, I don't think Alex could do that. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, let's see what this is. Chain Maybe there's hoist. some way to open the door. Use. Heads up! <laughs> oh my god. You figured out the door! Yeah, I'm so Smart. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? <laughs> never cease. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the door now. Probably this way. Can she walk faster? This is her walking. This is her running. Walking. Running. Oh, come on, girl. Let's read Ryan for Phil. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. Oh, sh he's doubting me. All right, I'll remember that, Ryan. I will remember that. What Yo, took you so long? How did he already get on the other side? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. He could have told us. Like he really could have told Where to us. Where's your next, Alex? <laughs> he's just sitting there waiting. Like, what? <laughs> there is no way this little kid climbed across this thing like that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Alex is smart as hell. He's really figured this out. And why does this child think he can just run run off into a cave that's gonna We're be close? like think so. exploded later? Ethan! 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 <gasps> she can see purple, a purple aura. It's probably him. Oh. How did how the hell did he get over there? Listen. Alex! I'm scared. Yeah, she can tell. She can tell. Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? I don't, don't know if this is a good idea. Out of here. Just hang on. Not the cracking. No. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it. Uh oh. It's no good. We're too heavy. No, they're gonna make her do it. Shit. What about me? Alex, uh, are you sure? That why'd she just offer herself up like that? She knows she's gonna freak out. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? 
Damn, her choices are, does it matter? Like, holy shit. I'm gonna say I'm okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. Oh, he's nice, actually. No, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. <laughs> she can't. <laughs> the other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Piece of cake. Damn, he Piece went all cake. up in between our legs and shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm nervy. I'm nervy and curvy. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! I'm freaking out, okay. Oh, ooh! Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look this way. Alright, step, step, step. You got step. this, Alex. Y'all, what happens if I fall off? Go back! You won't get hurt! Um, I won't get hurt. I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. You're wrong. I'm not. there but he is so scared you guys like look at his aura hey Ethan I'm here to help okay no get away Shit. it's too much oh no I have to get him to chill out <sighs> oh, no. Ethan I need you to calm down can you breathe for me I should never have come out here. I was so stupid. Okay, hey, hey, focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Okay. Gabe is our anchor. I've got really good balance. Let's say that we have an anchor. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. Oh my God. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. Yo, what? I, I don't, really don't understand. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh no. Not on the log, girl. I can't believe this is happening. She should at least get on the ground first. Okay, she's going to. Oh wait, never mind, she's not. Okay, I'm scared. I can do this. All right, here we go. I can do this. feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Okay. I 
brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. Okay, what else we have? This? I Gordon would it be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... What the hell is Can't that? Let it see me. Can't let it see me. What the hell is that? It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Oh my god, what is that? It's just his imagination? Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. Literally. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see us. It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. so stupid. It's not a monster, it's just a fucking rock. Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. One step at a time. Look up. Okay. Alright, let's go. We got it. Come on. Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. Yeah, we know. Um, nothing to be scared of. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? I'm not going Shit. to. Like, say, say that you're not. Do you think the log will break? No. It's stable. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break. Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. Almost there. Come on, guys. Let's just keep going. Ryan and Gabe are like, what the f is taking so long? <laughs> Come on. We're almost there. I wish I could walk faster, you guys. I'm holding down on the, the move forward <gasps> feet. <gasps> We're almost there. We could, we could just take a few more big steps and we'd be there. Come on. Almost there. That's it. There we go. We got oh. it. There you go. Ooh. I got you. Is that the blast? Do that. I'm sorry. 
god. There's no fucking way. Oh, and it's just over like that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was literally not expecting that at all. Like, at all. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. I'm like so shook by that. First of all, I thought they were holding off on the explosion for the night, but they did it anyway. I, wow. Okay, well, um, that was the end of the first chapter. So that means it is time to check out our stats for this chapter and see how we did compared to other people who have played the game so far. So let's find out. Um, Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans, 51% of people did that, including me. So this is actually a pretty close one. It's crazy because I thought that telling Gabe about Ethan's plans would prevent anything like that from happening. Um, but it looks like it didn't really make much of a difference because Ethan still ended up going there. And this next option is Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. Alex stayed out of Mac and Riley's fight. I picked the less popular option, which um, I'm, I guess I'm not surprised by that because a lot of you guys in the chat were telling me to pick this top one, but um, I don't know. I, I stand by my decisions. Alex told Gabe about her power. 73% of people told Gabe about the power. Alex told Gabe about growing up in foster care. Let's see what else. Alex hugged Gabe on the bridge, 97%. I mean, honestly, I don't know why you wouldn't hug him on the bridge. Like your brother, but whatever. Alex encouraged Riley to be honest in her interview, 72%. We did that. Alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome, 91% of people did that as well. Alex enjoyed a song in the record store. Alex didn't stop at the listening station. I did not stop at the listening station. I didn't realize that was an option. But to be honest, we wouldn't have been able to listen anyway, as you guys know, because there's no copyrighted music. Um, okay, over here we've got, Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a dork. 49% of people did that. Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a badass. So it was pretty split, 50-50. Alex rocked out with Gabe on the broom guitar. Alex looked on as Gabe jammed on the broom guitar. 96% of people rocked out on the broom guitar that was so funny that scene it really was because there's no music alex found evidence of gabe's search for her, for her 96 percent alex didn't find gabe's folder alex expressed optimism about haven alex expressed pessimism alex wasn't sure how she felt 39 percent of people picked this option that i picked the second most popular was the optimism one which was really close let's see Alex told Jed she's never been a server. Alex went along with Gabe's story. I'm actually surprised that Alex going along with Gabe's story only got 44% of people choosing it because um, Gabe really covered for us. So I figured, you know, we could cover for him. So I'm kind of surprised by that one. Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar, 97%. Alex admitted her playing is rusty. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance as a server, 89%. So good, we did a good job. Jed figured out Alex has never been a server before. That's probably for the people who exposed Gabe was lying about her. Steph beat Alex in the jukebox game. Steph lost to Alex in the juke jukebox game. Alex didn't play the jukebox game. 41% of people had Steph lose to them. So more people got beat by Steph. We are just built different we're literally built different because we beat Steph in the jukebox game so I'm very proud about that Riley broke up with Mac after the fight Riley and Mac are still together oh I didn't know that that would break them up like that I didn't think it was like that 
So I guess they're still together. Um, but you know what? That's not my business, really, to be quite honest. It's really not. And then our last option was Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. At Ducky's whiskey is still lost. 93% of people reunited Ducky with his favorite whiskey. Um, and those are all of our choices that we had in this chapter of the game. You guys, this was so good. This was so, so good. I am so excited about this series. I know we're only on the first episode, but so far I'm really, really liking this game. Maybe the best out of the entire series. I think the power is really cool. I think it's just like so developed and the graphics are amazing and I'm really like interested in the storyline. I'm just very excited. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with chapter two.